Hi, this is Alfauzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is area of a triangle. We can derive area of a triangle using determinants. Okay, imagine a triangle with vertices x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. If the triangle was a right angle triangle, it would be pretty easy to compute the area of a triangle just by finding one half the product of the base and the height which is nothing but the area of the triangle formula. However, when the triangle is not right angle triangle, there are multiple different ways to do so. So it turns out that area of a triangle formula can also be found using determinants. Let us see in detail how do we get about it. In earlier classes, we have studied that the area of the triangle whose vertices are x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 is given by the expression one half times x1 times y2 minus y3 plus x2 times y3 minus y1 plus x3 times y1 minus y2. Now, this expression, the same expression can be written in the form of the determinant. Let me write it. This is how it has been written in the determinant form. Here, we have some points to be noted. Since the area is a positive quantity, we always take the absolute value of the determinant. Let this be equation number 1. If the area is given, uses both positive and negative values of the determinant for calculation. And the third important point is, the area of the triangle formed by three collinear points is zero. Okay, let us learn more about the determinant of a matrix here in detail. Let me take an example. Find the area of a triangle whose vertices are, instead the coordinate just a point, I am taking a number. So let us find the solution for this. Let me write the area of the triangle in determinant form first. So this is the determinant points. Okay, uh, let me name these numbers x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. After naming all these points, we can plug it in this formula, determinant formula. So here I'll be getting, so this is how it would look like if I plug in all the values. Now let me plug in the values in this method. So if I work out the subtractions and multiply, so I'll get 1 half times 3 plus 72 minus minus is minus, minus 10 positive is negative, so negative 14. So if I do the calculation here, I'll get 61, 61 times half, so 61 over 2. So area of the triangle whose vertices are 3 comma 8, negative 4 comma 2 and 5 comma 1 is nothing but 61 over 2. Hope you are clear with this example. Okay, now let me show you how to derive the area of a triangle formula. Please look at this figure, a triangle inside a, it may be a square or rectangle. We may, you can make sure only if you know the length of the sides. We know that the area of a rectangle can be written as, so length times width, length times width. If I open, I mean I distribute or foil, I'll get x2 times y2, x1 times y2 and x2 times y3 and x1 times y3. This is the area of a rectangle from this figure. Now area of the triangle A. Technically each of those distances should be absolute value of the difference because area cannot be a negative one. But the problem is much easier to work without the absolute values. Area of a triangle A would be half of base times height. So if I foil, I'll get the same thing, half times the area of the rectangle. Okay, now please look at this figure. Area of the triangle C. For that reason, caution should be exerted to always make the final answer non-negative. Area of the triangle, after all, can't be negative. Now let me write the area of the triangle C. Same concept, half, half times base times height. So if I do the foil, I'll get this. So this is how I find the area, determining the formula, I mean deriving the formula using determinants method. Let us uh, learn more about the properties of determinants here in area of a triangle. Let's add these areas of the three outside triangles together. So I'll get, how I'm taking the common outside. So I'll get this. Simplifying further, I'll get now, to subtract the area of the three triangles from the area of a rectangle, I'll get, I'm just plugging in the area of a rectangle. 
because I'm just subtracting and simplifying this further I'll get x2 y2 x2 y2 gets cancelled out and x1 y3 if I simplify these I'll get this now let me regroup those terms by regrouping I'll get a format which would uh, easily can be converted into a determinant form okay so by regrouping I'll get here I'm not doing any calculation I'm just regrouping them okay now consider the determinant formed by placing the x coordinates in the first column and y coordinates in the second column and the constant 1 in the last column so let this be equation number 1 and I'll get a determinant so the determinant would be of this form let us evaluate the determinant by expanding along the third column so if I expand along the third column I'll get let this be equation number 2 please compare equation 1 and equation 2 so what is the difference between these two yes on comparing both equation number 1 and 2 we notice that the area of the triangle differs only in sign am I right the reason for this is because of the order the points were chosen in if the points were chosen to be point 1 2 3 in a different order then the de determinant would change only in the sign so this is how we derive the area of a triangle formula using determinants method okay let me show you some examples Here is the next example. Please read the question. We are given with three vertices. We plug our coordinates for the vertices into our area formula. So if I write this in determinant form, I'll get write all the x coordinates here and write all the y coordinates and the third column would be 1 1 1. So and it continues with half times negative 2 times 3. So if I expand, I'll get this. Now I have to work out this one so you have to cross multiply and place a negative sign in between so I'll get let me now do the calculation the dots are the products here so if I work out I'll get half times so 3 minus 1 times negative 2 so negative 6 same way 1 minus 3 times negative 2 so 1 minus 3 and times negative 2 so I'll get positive 4 and here 0 minus 9 times 1 so negative 9 so finally negative 11 over 2 which is nothing but negative 5.5 I have shown you all these steps here how to expand a determinant and then I have shown the calculation part 2 so this is how we find the area of a triangle when the vertices three set of vertices are given and here we received a negative value for A and we know that area cannot be negative therefore we must take the absolute value for A am I right so absolute value of negative 5.5 is nothing but 5.5 so please make sure you take the absolute value in order to avoid the negative answers because we all know that the area cannot be a negative one so here in this example the triangles area is 5.5 square units hope you are clear with this example here is the next example please read the question once there are three lines given P1x plus Q1y equal to 1, P2x plus Q2y equal to 1, P3x plus Q3y equal to 1 be concurrent. Then you should check whether these points form a scalene triangle or equilateral triangle or you should check whether these three are collinear or they just form a right angle triangle. These are the four options. So let me do the solution. We have got three equations. You can uh, set this and also it is mentioned that the lines are concurrent. So you can set all these into a determinant form and equal to zero. Because when these lines are concurrent you can set the determinant of these values the coefficients equal to zero. So I will get you can set the determinant equal to zero only when the condition given is the lines are concurrent. Okay. Now the left hand side of the this equation is also equal to twice the area of the triangle with coordinates P1 Q1, P2 Q2, P3 Q3. So from the area of a triangle formula and this area is equal to 
zero. You can apply the area of the triangle formula here for the left side of the equation. So you will get these three points are collinear because if I apply the area of the formula, you know you can know that all these three vertices and the area is equal to zero. It means all the three points lie on the same line and it is uh, they are collinear if you set that equal to zero. So the option would be all the three vertices are collinear. Hope you are clear with this example. So this is all about the area of a triangle from determinants. You should know how to derive the formula. You should know how to apply the determinants in finding the area of a triangle. And please make sure you find the absolute value because areas cannot be a negative one. And same way, this is one of the example to check the points, the vertices under the condition to be concurrent. In case if you have any query regarding this topic, you can let me know. Feel free to ask any query. See you in the next video. Have a great time ahead.